thank you for clicking on my channel welcome to the real movie podcast today i want to talk about house of the dragon episode 8 and this is a spoiler warning so if you haven't watched this episode please do it's one of the best episodes of this tv show the king is dead all hail the king before i talk about the story and what happens in this episode i want to talk about viserys targaryen played wonderfully by paddy considine what a character and what a performance viserys targaryen has never seen and fought a war during his years of being a king but it doesn't mean that he is a good king to be honest when you think about viserys targaryen he is a true villain of this story he might be a simple man he might look like a good guy but to be honest his incompetence as a king made the realm to be extremely in danger after he is gone and at the end of this episode he is indeed gone he might have ruled for over than 30 years 30 20 years i lost track of time but he really made enemies not for himself but he made enemies of the people closest to him i know he felt the regret and he did regret all of his decisions you could say in his last years but he is that kind of character that whatever decision he made this would have been his ending because he wasn't competent he was a good guy but he was never made to be a king viserys sargarian was a perfect man to be like an important person to be a just person if he was in a position that he could be the hand of the king but his judgment as a king was always poor he might not have fought or made the war during his years as a king but he really did plant the seed for so many wars to come in the future of the seven kingdoms i have to say again paddy considine what a character what a performance and what a complex personality to show in a great tv show it is really important and honorable to be great amongst greats now let's see what happens in this episode except the king's death at the end lord corlys valarian is about to die he's extremely sick and wounded and people want to see who will rule driftmark after corlys valarian he has a brother vaemon valarian who thinks that he is the true heir to the drift mark because he might not say it but he will say it in this episode he doesn't believe that jace is lenor's son for that matter he thinks that he should be the heir to the drift mark he even talks to queen allison hightower and promises them to be at their service once he was named the ruler of the drift mark on the other hand we have Jace Valarian, who is Renera's son. And in the previous episode, Lord Corlys did say that the history books will remember the names. So Lord Corlys himself said that Jace should rule the Driftmark. Renera thinks that this challenge is a challenge to her being the heir to the Iron Throne as well. And she is absolutely right, because what else does it mean? Vaymond does not accept Renera's judgment and he doesn't accept that Jace is the true born son of Lenor. He is right, but he shouldn't say that. So all of these characters, they all go to King's Landing to decide the fate of the Driftmark. Let's talk characters now. Well, I want to talk about Renera first. It's actually weird. Renera has changed a lot. Maybe she was always like this. It's like I've known her for 10 years. But she's a conversationalist now and she talks a lot to people and she is an apologetic person, which is weird. She wants to make things right. Maybe she inherits it from her dad. In previous episodes, we witnessed that she apologized to Alicent. In this episode, she talks to Rhaenys and says that Jace and his other child that I don't remember will marry the daughters of Lena and Damon because she wants to make the realm and the bloodline is strong and keep it strong and at the end of this episode as well she stands up and apologizes to Alicent maybe she has something else going on she wants to plot something 
but to be honest it doesn't look like that she has many plans and it's actually really good that he has Damon on her side not only because now she feels a lot more strong but also she could be a bit smarter because she is really putting everything out there and that's not right needless to say that she has three super white children's and she was married to a black man now let's talk about Damon well 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 everyone's favorite character and he deserves to be he is a boss in this episode like previous episodes at the beginning he goes to Cyrex's cave and he brings out three eggs he's extremely happy and he gets a letter from Bela which explains the conditions of the drift mark and then Damon and Renera they head off to King's Landing it is really obvious that Damon has lost his ambitions I don't know I don't want to sound like a psychiatrist but he acts like he got what he deserved in the life and even more he does pity his brother he helps him in some cases and when he realizes that Alicent and her father are drugging his brother he becomes extremely mad and calls the queen by her first name which should be an insult he really is a changed man and he's really happy with what he has he had a good life before and now he has a great life because he's married to Renera it is obvious that he extremely loves Renera with the way that he treats her and that scene in the court where Vaymond just said Renera is a whore he cut Vaymond's face in half without any hesitation I know that Viserys was also really mad that Vaymond called his grandchildren bastards it doesn't mean that Damon did this for the sake of his brother he was insulted because that man just called his wife a whore and afterwards he just delivers a cool one-liner just perfect Viserys says I should have your tongue for that Damon beheads that guy his tongue is just loose and he says he can keep his tongue you just feel the room changes the vibes and conversations whenever he is in that room everyone respects him and they are afraid of him and on top of all by killing Vaymond he did cancel all of Alicent and Otto Hightower's plans to rule the Driftmark that was just wonderful and yeah by the way I forgot to say that Renera and Damon they have a twin and Renera is pregnant again now let's talk about the final characters Alicent and Otto Hightower they know that their time is limited it is obvious because Viserys did not name Aegon the heir to the throne which is just still a pure insult and it is just so laughable they have to keep the king alive but they also have to keep him dizzy because they want to make the decisions they have to make some allies as I said their time is extremely limited by the end of this episode the king dies so they will have to do something extremely drastic Alison's children also does not make things easy Aegon is just a drunken bastard he drinks all the time he sleeps with everyone and he just doesn't want any of this and Alison's other son Aemond he is just a vicious bastard he is just a killer you can see it in his eye because you can't say eyes he did lose an eye Aemon is just out there for revenge he doesn't care about anything he just wants the revenge against Renera and Harvin's kids another great episode of house of the dragon and yeah that's it tell me what did you think about house of the dragon episode 8 this is my favorite show of this year so far this year i really loved the boys and this one as well thank you for listening to my voice if you have anything to say and add comment down below and let me know as always thanks i said that don't forget to like and subscribe bye